Hello, welcome. Uh, this is a quick demonstration of how to register and also add uh, some uh, pedals onto the Sign of the Time pedal database. Um, so, at the moment, as you can see, there is not much there. Um, this is hopefully going to be completely uh, user-based and community populated um, for several reasons. Number one is that everything is up to date um, and that I just don't have the time to go and add thousands and thousands of pedals. I would also like to have all the kind of smaller pedal builders um, start the process uh, so that we have emphasis on them first. Okay, so um, the all the functionality is in the background. Um, once more pedals are filled in, then I will start playing a little bit more with the whole front end interface and the searchability. But actually everything is already in the background that will facilitate different ways of searching, filtering, categorizing. So um, obviously as a first uh, um, visitor to the site, uh, you will have to get yourself an account. So please go to create an account and this is a very simple process. There's only a couple of things I would really like you to um, to think about. One is your name. So um, because this is about pedals and not about people, um, I would prefer that you stick to your brand or your pedal um, company name, um, both for your name and also your um, your username. The username is the, is the thing that will stand out in the site when anybody's on the pedal so they can see you know what the brand is. So essentially your username in this case will be your brand. So what I've done is I'm going to create one quickly. I'm going to make it test brand and uh, the username test brand. Now if your own name is your own that's not the um, that's not the end of the world but the username ideally is um, your brand name. Just add a password, choose your own, ideally as complex as possible. And uh, I'm just gonna make a quick. So there's not a lot of detail being captured here. So it now says your account has been created and ver verification link has been sent to your email address. Uh, you entered. Note that you must verify the account by selecting verification link and when you get an email and the administrator will activate your account before you log in. So I've received a um, an account verification. I'll click on it. Right, That means that it's verified and if I now go I will verify it in the back end. Okay, so if I reload this the new one will come in here and I will enable and activate your account and I'll also let you know. So that means that you now have been um, activated and you can now log in. So you will know, I will let you know that this has happened. Um, sometimes there might be a delay because I want to make sure that we don't have too many spammers. I already had to delete some of the sites not even a week old. So you just basically then uh, add your username and login. Okay, so once you've logged in, you will notice that you now have a bit of a profile here that you can edit. Now, what I would suggest uh, and the way I would like this to be played is that in this profile, there's a couple of important things. Number one, choose your avatar. In this case, this will be um, this will be your logo. Okay your company logo and add in your company website url.com so whatever your website is that your pedals are done in you know just add them and here is a, a html editor where you can now um, add as much information about your company what you're doing your ethos all these things can now be entered here and save it. So you now basically have a profile with a logo. Um, if your brand has sub brands or if you have a few different brands, please register each brand separately with their own logo and description. I think that will be will make things a lot clearer in the future. So you're basically ready now to um, add any pedal. So there's a couple of things to please pay attention for. So if I click on add a pedal, 
I am presented with a form. So I will say, okay, test uh, clone pedal. The, ideally, the title is as clearly the name of the pedal as possible. Choose the category. Um, you can choose multiple categories, but first choose your main category. So if it's a, uh, let's make a clone, let's make it an overdrive pedal. Um, so we choose the category, add the tags, clone, uh, clone, clone, whatever you think. Um, uh, drive, uh, overdrive, whatever. Um, tags you want to add because people will be able to search by tags as well. Then you can add uh, a good detailed description. Okay. Um, as long as you want, that is up to you. And you can use this as an HTML editor. Ideally, you have an intro text, right? Maybe like a paragraph. And then you enter and you click on the read more. And you add some more intro text. I mean, uh, more kind of full body text. Okay and save often. So we're now saving. Uh, we can add an image. <clears throat> you choose your image file. We'll just use this one. This is your main image of your pedal. You can give it a um, my clone clone um, caption and you can also put the credits in. So I took this picture, whatever, and save. Okay, if you click, you'll see that the image is there. You've got your content here. Um, you've got extra fields. Now, this is where there is a little bug in the system at the moment, which I'm struggling to fix. But these are actually drop down fields that you can select. Um, these are fairly important to me because I want the site to be searched via different uh, um, elements of pedals. The way to fix this and carry on is just to go in here and just choose a different um, category. Now you can go back once you've done this and saved this, you can go back and choose the correct cat uh, category again. So you can add your email if you want, which country you're in, um, add your website again if you want. In fact, I might actually take these out. Choose the voltage, um, battery only, um, put in the current draw, 100 milliamp, um, what size of enclosure, is it a rack or a pedal, uh, is it buffered or true bypass? Is it analog, digital or hybrid? Is it mono or stereo or both? Um, what is the effector type? Is it uh, uh, silicon transistor, germanium? Is it optical? Whatever. And some of these are actually multiple select as well. Um, and then we go on to is it is it uh, guitar, bass or keyboard? Um, again, you can choose all of them if you wish. Um, is it still in production? Yes or no. And then you save it. Now, what's probably going to happen is they're going to disappear again, which is okay um, because they've already been selected. And uh, if you want to go back in, I'll show you how to do that. If you want to add schematics, manuals, anything like that, you can go into the attachment field and choose an attachment. So in this case, let's just attach a picture. Um, pick of the clone. Um, you can add PDFs, anything like that as well. And that way you add some additional attachments. So this is perfect for if you want to add your manuals, um, descriptions, uh, sorry, manuals, um, technical data, um, schematics, anything like that. So um, we're nearly done. You can, um, we'll choose the actual additional categories right in the end. So. When we go back to the content, you can also add additional images. And you do that by giving yourself some space, clicking on the image icon, right? Um, now we want to upload a file. And what I would really like you to do here is to create a new folder and call it, uh, in this case, test brand. Right, so you now essentially have a folder, and in this folder, we are going to upload 
additional images. So uh, let's just add these three images again and we'll upload them. And now I can choose them. So uh, just deselect whichever one you want. So let's choose this one. You'll see that it come up, comes up with the URL and the um, alt text. So image of test brand uh, clone clone. Um, and if ideally you set this to, um, if it's smaller than 600, leave it at that. If it's uh, bigger than 600, put it down to 600. Um, and that way it will uh, display nicely. So um, the, you, can, you can be a little bit creative with images, but I prefer in the beginning that you don't. Um, so we'll just save that. So we essentially now have a full profile. So we've got the name. Um, we will get back to the category in a minute. We've got some text. We've got some images and Im a main image. Um, let's go back to the overdrive and see it comes back so you can see that it's all done. Um, you've got an attachment and now we're going to add additional categories. So what we're going to do here is we, we're going to choose a clon. Um, we'll also make it a, um, because a clon actually has hard clipping. So we'll make it a drive pedal. There we go. And we'll save it. Okay. Right. Once it's saved, you can close it. So you will not see it appear. Um, if you go to your own profile, on my page under user you will see um, you'll see it but it is not published um, I will go in and find it once it's done let me just delete these two okay and I will have a quick peek at it Da 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 da. There we go. Happy with it. Published. Yes. Okay. Now there's another thing we're going to add before. So if I now go to the pedal page, it is now live and well. And as you can see, it comes up with the title, who wrote it, um, intro text, um, tags, everything. And if I click on the title, um, I then have the full thing here. And this is what's important to me. The other thing that is really cool is that because there's so many options in here, as time goes by, we will find interesting and wonderful ways to be able to, um, to uh, for, for people viewing it to actually um, filter and categorize and search. People can leave comments only if they're logged in. Okay. Um, so the other important thing is to your pedal is let's say you want to also add a um, video, um, which is fairly important for um, being able to, uh, to posting. So let's take this video of my wee daughter. So we're gonna, oops, what am I doing? That's not what I wanted. So we're going to put this up. Ready. Uh, you go to the um, embed function, copy the whole embed script, and you'll notice on your, once if you're logged in and you're viewing your own posts, you can go to edit item. And what you do here is you go to a piece of text where you want to add it. You make some enters, make yourself some space, say type in video. Now I'm doing this for folk who don't really know um, HTML. You click this off button and switches off the HTML editor. And you'll notice there's a little piece of text which says 
uh, a video. Now we just need to find it. Where did it go? Da, 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 da. Here it is. So you just select the text video and only the video text. Give yourself some enters, give yourself some space and paste the whole iframe code from YouTube. And if I now save, unfortunately for you, it will go back into um, into a state of uh, needing to be approved. So I will approve it. Okay, and publish it. And then we are back to square one and we can view it. And we now have photo, text, video, extra pictures, detailed information at the bottom here are the downloads. So for example, any downloads that we added previously. So I hope um, that, there you go. So I hope that helps. Um, if there's any questions, um, send me a um, message. Um, there is not a lot of information stored about people on this. So all the kind of basic uh, privacy stuff is not yet properly in place, but that is because uh, we are not putting in any um, personal details. Um, I am intending on making an online shop for everybody to use. So anybody who wants to sell their pedals through this um, <clears throat> should uh, will be able to also sell through here, but that is in the future. And before that happens, we will have all the um, cookie um, GDPR, all these kind of things in place. At the moment, there will be so much work trying to get as many pedals into the database as possible that it really hasn't been a priority, but it will be a secure site and all those other marks will be ticked. So thank you very much for watching. Um, any questions, um, please send us an email at info at signofthetime.com. Thank you very much.